Hello everyone, this is Ted Sinze. Or if you're watching from Zipcast, this is Loon. And today, I'll be talking about Dolphin, the GameCube, Wii, and Triforce emulator. Right. Sorry about the quality in the previous video. I guarantee you it will not look like that. But I just wanted to prove to you that it is running in Linux. I do own all these games. In fact, I made them myself apart from this one. I had trouble making that one onto an into an ISO. But I do have the game. I do own the game. I'm not own. I do not tolerate any piracy. See, I'm anti-piracy. Uh, okay. I do have some videos here of great quality or better quality. Nice smooth frame rate. Yes. If you want to see these, the uncut, unedited versions, then head on over to my Zipcast account, Loon. It does have these there as well as Ubuntu Gaming uh, Unreal Tournament 2004 so that's one thing different that I'll do between my YouTube and my Zipcast account that on my Zipcast account I will have uncut unedited gameplays and then put up the one that I will put up on YouTube but on YouTube, I will have the Linux Gaming and Weak PC. Which, if you guys want to see more of the Weak PC, feel free to tell me. Because I do think it's great that you can game so much in a laptop from 2003 in Linux. Ever since I switched to Linux, my gaming has skyrocketed. So, on to the video. Dolphin is, like I said before, GameCube, Wii, and Triforce. Triforce being the arcade machine based on the GameCube emulator. It supports many extra features and abilities that, not, that are not present on the original consoles. For example, anti-aliasing and multiple resolutions. The GameCube and Wii compatibility is great in my opinion. And a lot of mainstream titles are running there. Lesser known titles can be a hit or miss. And Triforce compatibility is currently limited to one game. Others require more of the Triforce specific peripheral devices to be emulated. Quote from Google. Anyways, you can download it in Linux, Ubuntu, 7.04 with three simple lines in the term. Download it in the description. And to be honest, I do love this emulator. I love the fact that I can play all my games at the max possible resolution that my screen can handle. Which, just for you guys, I will actually do that rather than playing at native or 0 0.3 no, 0 0.375 of the internal resolution. So that you guys can see just what Dolphin is compatible of. Dolphin is compatible of 1080p and beyond, depending on your computer. Now, while my computer is not the best in the world, I'll admit that right now, it is far better than the laptop from 2003 known as the Weak PC. Weak Machine. And I honestly got it at a really, really good deal. I'm very happy with it. Now, a lot of games run brilliantly. For example, Luigi's Mansion runs just about perfectly in the emulator. Sometimes there's a slowdown. There's some dust in one certain area of the game that I have to suck up in order to get around. Apart from that, no lag it was perfect, especially with the widescreen hack. The widescreen hack works only for GameCube games, I believe, which is to be expected because ga Wii games already have widescreen in it. There are some games in some areas where it works absolutely perfectly, good example Luigi's Mansion, 
and some areas in Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube. In other areas, it completely fails. However, it's easy to toggle it on and off with the 4 key on the keyboard. Not from the numpad, but the one that's above the query. You can toggle anti-aliasing by pressing 3. So it goes through like 5 different options, depending on your computer, I think. I don't know for sure. But hey, very nice to have that option, that availability. Without having to configure it all into the uh, different options that Dolphin has. Now the native version of Dolphin, which you can run it through on, people have done it before. I just prefer going native because everything works better native. Let's set the back end 3D renderer to OpenGL software renderer. They say software renderers doesn't work as well. It's for experimenting, debugging purposes. At full screen resolution, you can set the resolution, however, this will not affect the in game resolution, internal resolution. With internal resolution, you have auto to make the window size, auto, keep it a multiple of the native resolution, set it to multiple of the native resolution, I think max is 3. You can toggle the anti aliasing, like I said, 2, 4, 8, blah, blah, blah. And the anisotropic filtering. You can have a post processing effect, you can switch from all these different ones. But I have actually seen videos of Dolphin emulating a game in HD and in 3D. That's got to be pretty cool. Per pixel lighting, force texture filtering, a whole bunch of other different things. I have it all set to mostly native, except for this one, OpenCL Texture Decoder, which while experimental, it aims to speed up emulation using the GPU. And sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. I just have it on by default, so I don't really know. I haven't tested it that much. Tested it out that much. I have the texture cache set to the second fastest setting. Fastest, of course, being all the way to fast. Go figure. Uh, nothing in the beginning. I do have the widescreen hack enabled. It causes graphical glitches in some games, it says. Yeah, like in uh, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Dolphin 3.0, which I think may be the latest one, I'm not entirely sure. And it emulates the GameCube pad very well, which is to be expected because it's just buttons. As for the Wiimote, it also does it equally well. I have no idea how, but they have managed to actually get the cursor to work for the Wii Remote and Replacement. So don't mess with those settings there. You can set A, B, 1, 2, negative, plus, home, keys, of course. To configure the nunchuck, you just go over here, though they have a shake. The X axis, Y axis, Z axis, which for those who don't know, just basically means up, down, left, right, forward, backward. You can toggle, switch around the stick, buttons C and Z. Swing it, tilt it, shake it. That's for the uh, Wii Remote itself, which is the middle mouse button. Wii Remote shake, nunchuck shake, everything shall be good. Uh, so yes, emulating could come, a uh, Wii Remote could come useful in some games, however in other games it might be just simpler to simply get your Wii Remote connected thing. Via Bluetooth, it is possible. There are videos about it throughout YouTube. I did not have one because I don't have a Bluetooth USB thing in my pocket. But I do know you need the bar thing that comes with the Wii. And uh, Bluetooth thing, of course. The Wii remote. Nunchuck in some games. But I'm fine with just emulating it. The games I have well with it. Um, 
Yeah, I love the fact that you can change the resolution as I mentioned before and anti-aliasing and it's so really good at filtering. I mean with these things it's possible to get GameCube games looking better than the Wii, Wii games looking better than PS3, Xbox 360 depending on the game. Because some games just look plain weird. But a good example would be Super Mario Galaxy 2. At max settings, they have awesome looking game. Also, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I prefer the GameCube version since it is more accurate, saying has how everybody is right handed except for Link, like it should be, Link is left handed. But they flipped it around in the Wii version because everybody's gonna be swinging around the sword will be right handed, right? Again, toggle on the widescreen hack. Switch on the anti aliasing or the filtering or the resolution, whichever one. And voila! GameCube version is now better than the Wii in just about every way. Apart from aiming, there's a lot of guesswork in aiming. But apart from that, it's all very nice. So Dolphin, very nice emulator, native to all formats, Windows, Mac, oh. Linux, so it's cross-platform, though I'm not sure if Solaris is included, or a few other ones, Unix, but anyways, running very well in Zorn OS Core 5, aka Ubuntu 11.04, Questions, or comments, or whatever, suggestions for my next video, feel free to comment. Even if it's just a LOL, you suck at 345 or whatever. Yeah, comment. Like it if you're on YouTube, rate it 5 stars if you're on Zipcast. Subscribe to my Zipcast channel, it's feeling very, very lonely. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching from Zipcast. Uh, again, on YouTube, I will have just these kind of videos. On Zipcast, I will have full, uncut, unedited gameplays. Feel free to make suggestions again. Open to suggestions. This is Testing Tail from YouTube, Loon from Zipcast. I shall see you guys next video. And to finish this recording, I shall do that resolution thingy I mentioned to you.